Hey everyone. Um. So. Sorry if you see like the room spinning a lot. I'm just walking in place in my room. So I just watched a video that said Canadian police threaten drunk drivers with Nickelback music. And basically it said that it, basically that's what it said. It said Canadian police a way that Canadian police are going to are going to crack down on drunk drivers is not only putting them to take put them in the car to take them to jail, but they're going to threaten them by make but they're going to threaten them make them listen to Nickelback Silver Side Up. I want y'all to understand one thing. I have no disrespect towards any form of police. But, I do find it stupid that one album flops a whole band. Let's put one thing straight. The album Silver Side Up put Nickelback on the map. Because that has a song, How You Remind Me. So, what I'm saying is, and here's another thing. The people that you arrest, arrest for drunk driving, you're, you're going to tell them we're going to make you listen to Nickelback? That's going to be kind of a double-edged sword there, because you're going to get the people that are going to complain, and then you're going to get the people that say, oh, I love Nickelback. So. That's kind of the thing there. Even if they're drunk, you know, they can still talk. You know? <laughs> They still have a mind of their own. Obviously, the people that drink and drive are idiots for drinking and driving. But, still, what they listen to is what they choose to listen to. And if it's a joke... If it's a joke that they're gonna threaten who they arrest with Nickelback. <sighs> the joke is getting really freaking old. Because it's like the knock knock joke that goes, knock knock, who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock, who's there? Banana. Banana who? So on, so on. Knock knock, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange glad I didn't say banana. Because this whole everybody hates Nickelback joke I'm hearing is getting really old. <laughs> I grew up listening to Nickelback, okay? I love Nickelback's music. I grew up to bands like, I grew up listening to bands like Nickelback or Saliva or Creed or Three Days Grace or I, gr I grew up listening to, I guess what people are saying, 2000s rock. Because I guess this is the 2010s. <laughs> That's. I mean. Sorry if you get a whole lot of quiet in this video. I'm just trying to process it, you know. I want to get. I want to get one thing straight. If you love listening to Nickelback. Like, that's your favorite band, that's your decision. If you hate Nickelback, you absolutely hate their music, you despise them, you despise their music, you hate everything about Nickelback, that's your decision. <sighs> Just, the people that have their opinions on Nickelback, you have your opinions on Nickelback. But don't go bashing each other about it. Because I see so many Nickelback haters that bash 
on Nickelback and the people that love them. Now, freedom of speech, you can say whatever the fuck you want. But, there's also a phrase called think before you speak. And that's what I think a bunch of people that are bashing on Nickelback, like Nickelback haters that are bashing on Nickelback fans, are doing the exact opposite of that. They're just saying, they're just saying, oh, I'm a Nickelback hater, this person's a Nickelback lover, I'm just gonna hate on them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate on Nickelback, and I'm gonna hate on them, and I'm gonna bash them for liking Nickelback. Now some people might get hurt by that, or some people will just ignore you for it because they don't have time for your bullshit. And frankly, to the Nickelback haters, I don't have time for your bullshit either. But I'm making this video because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the hate on Nickelback. I'm sick of hearing... Nickelback is the ass end of these jokes because guys in Nickelback are people just like you and me. Except they worked to get up to where they are in not only in life, but in their careers. They've worked for that. They've worked their asses off, starting off from nothing. Starting off with complete shit. And worked their way up to where they are. You have to give them some kind of credit that... You have to give them some kind of credit that, and they have, they do have talent, you know? There are artists that are worse than Nickelback. Alright? You know? I'm not gonna list them right now because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of hate comments in the, down below. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate comments down below just because I like Nickelback solely. Like I said, I apologize. I apologize if there's a bunch of quiet moments in this video. It's just. It's annoying. It's annoying. I mean. When you see the first couple Nickelback hate comments, you're just like, uh, whatever. But when it rises and you see millions of people hopping on this I hate Nickelback bandwagon, and like, the majority of the comments you see are just hating on Nickelback, it's like, why is it such a thing to hate Nickelback, I don't understand. And frankly, if you're still gonna hate on Nickelback, by all means, hate on Nickelback all you want. But just realize those guys probably have, like, okay. Let me rephrase that. If you want to, okay, I'm sticking with the, I'm sticking with this. If you hate Nickelback and you're just gonna continue hating on Nickelback, okay, fine. Continue to hate on Nickelback. I don't care. But realize while you're just sitting there at the computer, just typing away on that, doing nothing, Nickelback is doing more with their lives than you are. Because you're just gonna sit there, troll I hate Nickelback, they suck, oh, put it, 
have police threatening that they're going to use Nickelback as police brutality. Blah, 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 blah. You're not doing shit with your life. Nickelback is doing more with their life than you are. So if you want... If you want to be as successful as Nickelback is, get off your ass. Yeah, I know the camera's right here, and I'm. I know, I know the camera's the camera lens is right here, but I can't just look at whatever. I just. And if you're a Nickelback fan, and you love Nickelback to death, cool. Because I'm right there with you. I, I love Nickelback to death. I will continue to love their music. I will continue to listen to Nickelback till the day I die. Now... I'm not going to continue this video for much longer, but I just want to say don't jump onto a bandwagon just because it's popular. For don't don't jump onto something that's that's like the popular thing at the moment just because it's the popular thing. If you're gun if you actually legit feel the way those people feel, that's one thing. If you don't and you're just jumping on because you're jumping on because why the fuck not? That's not the right reason. And to Nickelback. I love you guys' music. I love you guys to death. I will continue to love you to death. I want to see you guys in concert again because I saw because when I saw you guys come with the double AC, it was freaking awesome. <laughs> um. Because the guys in Nickelback, they have such like they have so much talent. They are incredible guys that that love what they do. You know, they absolutely love what they do, and that's their passion. That's what they want to do. That's what they strive to do. Like, and even if Nickelback wasn't a band, I'm sure each of those guys would be doing something with music. You know? So you Nickelback haters, continue to hate Nickelback. I don't care. You know? To anybody else that's a Nickelback fan like myself, continue to love them. Continue to support them in any way you can. And know that the people that are Nickelback haters don't fucking matter. Because they got nothing else better to do with their lives than just hate on Nickelback. So...
So yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.